How's it going, everybody? My name is Zombie Peter, and welcome to Devotion. This is a demo for a game on Game Jolt, and it looked to be a pretty scary game. My dear, come to the old hotel tonight. I'll be waiting for you, William H., June 19th, 2016. The only premise we know behind this game is we play as Amanda, and our father disappeared five years ago, and he used to own a hotel where this game will be taking place. Which I'm guessing that's what that is in the distance. Salvation. With some weird... Rune of some sort. Do we have a flashlight? We do have a flashlight. Okay. Oh, more of the rune. This is... Very witchcrafty feel to it. I don't know why you need that many. I mean, who has all the time to make all these? Seriously. Like, one... One is enough. Two is... Pushing a little bit. Twelve? Probably don't need like 12. Or, I mean, that was probably like 7 or something. Okay. Oddly placed time for a phone call. Hi, Jeff. Ooh, sorry. Visiting my dead father at the hotel. Friend zoned. I received a letter today. Okay, so that's why we're here. We get a letter. Here! Have some cleverly introduced plot! Right at the beginning. He's been gone for five years. Two when months, three days, and seven days. hours. You're not considering going there, right? Seriously, I'm just... Always... I mean, I guess it's a very You're efficient way of just track. getting the plot out of the way. You made enemies with the wrong people. How do we make enemies with people? We're, so we're just a girl of a guy who owned a hotel. I, I don't I know... I go there and find out. No, you don't. All right. You're clean to a ghost. I won't let you walk in... Oh, really? I'm Are you going to tell us what we're going to do and not do, Jeff? Guess what? Walking in there. Huh. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so we need to. Okay, maybe we won't go in that way. But Jeff can't tell us what we're going to do. We are a strong, independent woman. We don't need no Jeff. All right, let's go. Perhaps follow the path around the house to a basement. A basement. Excellent. Best place to start looking for your mysteriously lost father for five years. Always in the basement. All right, base. That's not basement. That is Styaris, also known as stairs. Okay. I mean, just the letters were worn off. So now we're inside. More symbols. Okay. At least this one seems to be like paint or blood. Paint or blood. Probably, probably blood, because that's the way it wants to be. Home sweet. Did you grow up in a hotel? Otherwise, I don't think it's home sweet home. Otherwise, I think it's daddy's office. Left click to drag and move the. Bo These aren't boards. It's a chair and a fire extinguisher. Although, oh, those boards. These boards here. Okay. We're just gonna drop you right here. It's a bottomless pit. There is no bottom, because they didn't make any sound. And luckily, this hotel that's been abandoned for five years is still picking up after itself. It has trash bags. Can we take Flint with us? No. Flint, the fire extinguisher, is going to stay right there. Alright, floor two. Okay, that was eventful. Floor three. No floor three. Floor floor two. Back to floor two. That was my favorite anyway. I didn't want to go to the third floor. The symbol probably would have been a little, you know, hint. Hey, go here. I took the time to put this blood slash paint symbol here. I expect you to... Oh, can we rip this off the walls? Map? How did we acquire the map if it's still right there? I already have this map. Okay, no you don't. It's right there. We... Came from stairs A. It does not say. I'm assuming we're at stair A. Okay, if we came Dad? from stair A's. Dad. Yep, he's probably gonna be on the second floor right next to the stairwell. You should probably make as much noise as you can. And none of these doors are numbered. It won't budge. It just it did. It just budged right there. Okay. Alright. I creepy paintings in this hotel. Definitely some demon sorts of activities going on here. Hall. What was that? Thought I heard something. Hall. It's locked. Of course it's locked. More bar. What do you mean more bars? Those are the first bars we've seen. Well, this was clearly not the way. So we'll go down this creepy hallway with our flickering flashlight. Yeah, I think we came in on st at stairs B. Alright, so... I'm waiting for something to be here. What is this? Some altar? I can't, I can't zoom. Okay, now we know where we are. 
And yes, we did come in. And Jeez, that was really loud. Okay. What is this? Oh, the symbol thing. Can I have this? No. Is this like the mold they use? Do they just like cover it with paint and slap it on the wall? Key! Hall key acquired. Now we can go to the hall. Name, Jonathan Caprio, age 20, hometown Las Vegas, Nevada. Weekly report number one, date 12-10-2012. I am reborn. While wandering aimlessly through life looking for some meaning, Mr. Hawkinsworth has come to me and given me a reason to believe better days are to come. He brought me to this place. It was once a hotel, but now it houses my hopes for a better future. He gave us these sheets so we can write our thoughts each week. He didn't tell us why, but he doesn't have to. He claims that as long as we follow his steps and never leave the safety of this church, we will ascend to paradise once our earthly stories come to an end. I choose to follow him and enter his church. Okay, cult. Yes, this is about a cult. That is a key detail that I seem to have forgotten. A cult moved in the hotel after her father mysteriously disappeared and was totally not murdered for his hotel. Or was our father part of the cult? Is that going to be a big twist? But we now have the hall key, right? So we can go into the hall, which is where we should have been going this whole time. All right, yes, open and into the hall. This is, okay, this is very dark. This is this where stuff is going to happen. Hello? Hi, sheet. I don't know, that looks like a blanket. Oh, whoosh. A whoosh and a clock. It's ticking, but the time is stuck at 3.02. Why does that matter? Except, isn't 3 o'clock dead time? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's 3 a.m. is dead time. So maybe there was some summonings of a sort for this cult, and it murdered everyone. While leaving no trace, just a bunch of little symbols everywhere. Welcome back. Okay. Hi, we're welcome back. We're gonna go right. Oh, Hello. Father. Is that dad? What? Is, Is that our dad? Here? How how do you know that? I, know I don't know. Maybe he wrote the letter for us. Everything. That's a little creepy. A little stalkerish, but alright. Mysterious man speaking at us through the TV. So we have made it through the maze of chairs, I think. Why is it? Well, that's where we came in. Oh, we're just on... We're smacking ourselves in the face of the door. We're on the other side of the bars. Okay. What is like this? There's like mold on the walls. And now, of course, it's dark. There's no more lights anywhere. So I guess this hotel isn't abandoned. I guess the cult people kind of moved in. Okay, we can't even interact with that one. So, I guess that explains why it's not all run down and there are set lights going, but we haven't seen anybody yet. Is the cult still here? Did they do something? Okay, hi. Yes, that's just a painting falling off the wall. Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Even though he knows everything about me, we're just going to trust the words of a painting that has it written on the back and what looks like blood. There's no power. Okay, so we need to get the power turned on. So, that man wasn't our father. They talked us through the TV. I'm assuming that would be the leader of the cult. Okay, so we have our first sign of life or death. There's just blood on the walls. Are we not supposed to go? Why, why is that? That just seems oddly terrifying. It's just, okay, we're not, we're not going to go that. We're going to save that for later. Let's go check out over here first. Oh, there's the shrine. That's the shrine thing. We'll go check out that creepy-ass hallway with the single lighted. Jeez, these doors open so loud. In just a second. All the mirrors are broken. Or... Are we supposed to open up these? We're supposed to search the toilets? Bathrooms are where they had all the good stuff in horror games. Nope, nothing. Okay, we just went in there for no reason. Okay, so I'm assuming this is supposed to be room 209. And the O just kind of disappeared. Well, at least that cross is the right way up. More blood. Another note? No. Leading to another room. Yes. All right. More notes from another member. Name, Paulo Maia. Age 40. Hometown Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Weekly report number one. Date 12-10-2012. When I first came to this country, I believed a better life awaited for me, but reality has betrayed me. Until one day, a man came to me and fed me what I most desperately sought. Hope. 
Mr. Hawkinsworth wants to lead us to paradise. I will take his hand and trust him with my afterlife. I am certain that this church will offer me the salvation I seek. All the other brothers seem as thrilled as I am. I can feel the warmth of the Creator's touch already. So, Mr. Hawkinsworth is the leader of this cult. And... Why am I hiding in here? It's so Oh, something's gonna be chasing me. Oh, great. Oh, we have to hide. This is... Okay. So there's gonna be something trying to murder us. And we have to hide in that little wardrobe there. That was good to figure out now. Rather than when it was trying to kill us. I'm assuming we can hide in any wardrobe. Dark hallway. Shh. What song? No. Don't. No singing. No. She is coming for us. Us? Are we the... She, oh god, just shadows. Are we the she? Am I the she that's coming for everyone? Name, Richard McGrath. Age 50, hometown Detroit, Michigan. Weekly report number one. Date 12-10-2012. I lost my job, my house, and my family. The thought of choosing the easy way out to end my torment came to mind more than I'd care to admit, but it all changed when Mr. Hawkinsworth approached me on a freezing night of winter. With a smile on his face, he handed me a bowl of boiling hot soup. That was the coldest night of the century, and if it weren't for him, I'm certain I would have frozen to death. He told me about his plan to build a church with the smartest, most capable people, and he asked me to join. I took his offer, and here I am now, waiting to be reborn. Okay, so waiting to be reborn, and she's coming for us. Is that like, their their god? She's coming for us? That is a lot of crosses. That is... No, that's probably when she's gonna come for us now. Okay. Run across the hall, hide in the wardrobe? Oh. No, come on. Oh, damn it, they did turn upside down. Oh, damn it. My god, is anyone here? Oh, we have to take the key. Oh, duh. Okay, so now we have the key for room 205 life. Is whatever the hell that murdered all these people gonna... I must call Jeff. Why? Why must you... What? Jeff, I'm in the hotel. There's No, you must wrong. do nothing. What did they do to you? They aren't here, but I saw a man. He said How? he knows everything You saw a television. I told you not to go back to this place. Why won't you ever... What do you mean, back to this place? The letter. It gave me hope. Uh-huh. Let's just stand next to the creepy music. I'm almost there. I'll pick you up, and everything will be alright. Uh-huh. Everything's gonna be great. What? Whoever sent that letter knows about my dad. I will get to the bottom of this. If you didn't want my help, why did you call me? You're um, the only one didn't you left call me, us? And there's something wrong going on. Please, don't come here. Don't put yourself in harm's way. I'm confused. Nonsense. I'll get there and get you out, whether you like it or not. I have my gun with me if things go south. Alright, feeling a little bit better about Jeff now. He seems to be looking out for us, because we clearly aren't. We're just... What the fuck is that thing? Hi! Oh, the I fuck are you? What was that thing? Okay, that was the monster thing. We're gonna go ahead and run to 205 as fast as we can, so we can hopefully take care of this very quickly and not be eaten by some horrible monster. Can we close this? We can close that. Thank you. 84925. Alright, that's a code for something. We don't even know what we need to code for. We still have that really creepy hall to go down, which leads right towards whatever the hell that monster thing was. So, of course, we need to do something on this. It's stuck at 930, okay? So, maybe it's not dead time. Maybe it's just stuck at some random time for some reason on every clock. But now we're trying to avoid the monster? I don't know if it's death on sight, or if it's faster than we are, or what. But I'm assuming it's going to involve hiding in wardrobes. Okay, so this is where we put the code in. Uh, let's see, it was, uh, eight, four, nine, two, five? Yes! Okay, eight, four, nine, two, five. E to interact. What am I interacting with? Oh, this! E, okay, hey, hey, let's make as much noise as possible to make sure that the monster knows exactly where we are. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Those are words. 
Okay, still no monster. Hey, dude, nope, 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 nope. In here, going in here, going in here, closing, closing that, hiding in the wardrobe. Holy shit, no. Very bad. Okay, so it's it's really slow. That's good. Uh, I don't know. Is it dumb? Ha <laughs> ha What the? Ha <laughs> ha Hello. I kind of want to shine my flashlight on you, but I also kind of don't want to, you know, die. Okay. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. You can go away now. Okay, so this thing like patrols, so we need to sneak into that room with it just walking back and forth in that hallway. So we're gonna go ahead and try to be real sneaky here. And it should be walking away now. I hope. Otherwise we're about to die. Yes, it's walking away. We're gonna try to go right in here. It won't budge. Luckily I have a crowbar. Can you see in the dark? Okay, so he goes in there. Do we just run past it? We're, we're just gonna run past it. That's what we're doing. We're running past it. We're fucking running. It seems super slow, so fuck it. We're out. There we go. Uh, that was easy enough. We just, we just run around the monster. Okay. It seemed pretty slow. So, wait, was this here before? This wasn't here before. D thank you. I, I know. I just pointed that out. Okay, so now we're supposed to crowbar one of these doors. Oh, we're supposed to crowbar this. Okay. We crowbar the boards out of the way. All right. That makes more sense. So we're just completely ignoring the fact that the elevator has no power. We're not trying to use that at all. Okay, well, it seems the monster's just way away. It was just, that was it. Is it chasing us? It sounds like it's chasing us. What time is this clock set at? 9.15. I don't know what these times mean. Are they supposed to be some sort of code or something? Blood going this way. We're going to go this way. Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Okay, we, 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 we're going to go this way and follow the blood. Nope. Oh, the blood's under that door. I wonder which one we have to go in. Let's go into the door with the blood under it. Hi, hello, body. Forgive the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make an un Good evening, my dear. to make an atonement for your souls. Who are you? How did you get my number? I didn't. I had your phone. I read all of your texts. Uh -huh. You and Jeff have quite a story, I must say. Leave Jeff out of this. What do you know about my dad? Is this Jeff? Here, given the circumstances, I think you should be more concerned about what happened to your mother. What happened to my mother? What? What? Okay, so we what what? Oh, that's that is the end of the demo. Okay, so uh, Jeff died. Uh, there were scratch marks and blood trail on the floor. I'm assuming he didn't do so well. Uh, his gun didn't really help out in case things went south, which they did. But they said we should be more concerned about our mother. There wasn't anything in that story about our mother. I don't know what we would be more concerned about. But that was the demo for Devotion. It was a pretty creepy game, even though the monster was only there for a little bit. If you want to check it out for yourself, a link will be down below in the description. If you liked the video, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button. If you want to say hey, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this game. I hope that you enjoyed it. Goodbye for now. Until next time.